In this video, we're going to show you how to set up and use Placeit. So we have a simple scene here. We have a 2D ground mesh. And we have a bunch of robots and drones that we want to place on it. So first thing to do is fire up the Placeit GUI. And we need to add physics properties to all the meshes in the scene. So we'll choose the Add Layout Meshes option. And we get a, a list of all the objects in the scene that have geometry. Uh, we can, looks like all the uh, robots and drones are on, on the top of the list. So we can multi-select by clicking with the left mouse button on the top, holding down the shift key and clicking on the last drone. Now, uh, the best default to use for a collision shape is the convex hull shape. And we're going to animate these meshes, so we're going to use a dynamic body type. Uh, the craters, uh, because they're 2D mesh, uh, they present a special case for the physics engine. And the physics engine requires that they be mesh, collision shapes, and static body types. So now we want to uh, place all these robots and drones on the crater surface. Uh, by default, the default tool in place it is the transform tool. Uh, in this case, we're actually going to use the tweak tool because it's quicker. The big difference between the two is that the transform tool requires a selection. And it would be kind of tedious to select and move each one with the, play, with the tweak tool. All we have to do is place the mouse over the mesh we want to select and press down with the left mouse button. We'll see a green bounding box to let us know what item has been selected. And then we can just move the left mouse button around and it'll uh, place the mesh on the ground. Uh, right mouse up and down interactively scales. Right mouse left and right rotates. Uh, in the transform tab, we have axis and sense options, which are very similar to the rest on ground options in Modeler. So if we selected uh, Z-axis, we would be standing vertically. Uh, if we use Y for the positive sense, we'll be upside down. Up direction defaults to the underlying polygon normal. Uh, you can change it to worldwide for stuff like vegetation where you want everything to be going toward the sun. Uh, align to drag keeps the Z axis in line with the direction of the mouse drag. Uh, turn off, it's just going to slide around. And now we can just quickly place the rest of our items just with a single mouse click and drag. So one advantage of the transform tool is that you can use it to scale and rotate multiple selections. So if we select all the bots here with the transform tool and drag up and down, we can scale them. Drag left and right, we can rotate them. If we want to translate with the left mouse, it only works on the last one selected. It cannot uh, translate all of them at once. And you can use the right mouse button in the viewport to select and deselect. So if you right click, you'll deselect it. It's a toggle. And, and if we uh, save the scene, 
we can uh, use the capture tool to interactively capture a uh, physics simulation. So to use the capture tool is very easy. All we need to do is uh, press the record button to start recording and give it a file name. And green, uh, flashing green means we're recording. So uh, we can actually just turn on the physics engine. And we got uh, interactively affect the simulation by dragging things around. It, the, uh, and it, when we're done, just hit the stop button and just reload the scene. Open up the LASIK GUI, load in the saved capture, and just hit the play button and light wave, and simulation will run. And of course, you can render this out using Lightwave's render.